Right, for today's lesson we're looking at uh, the shaded pole fan motor or pump. They use them for pumps and fan motors. Very low starting torque motors. They haven't got a lot of power. They're mainly used in commercial refrigeration and air conditioning and uh, domestic refrigeration and air conditioning. Uh, I've got two basic types here. One is a totally enclosed motor. So we can't really see the operation inside so we've decided to use the naked type motor that I have here which we can seal the components and the basic components of this motor are the coil which is a couple of thousand uh, windings of uh, very fine copper wire you've got your in and your out power so you're active and your neutral this is a 240 volt motor you've got your stator and in these types of motors the stator is referred to as the stack You've got what's called your shading poles. So in this motor here we've got two poles. Some motors can have up to 40 poles depending on what type of motor they are. We've only got two poles in this type. Uh, your, your bearing housing, which holds your bearing or your bush depending on what type of motor it is. Um, and inside you've got your little rotor that rotates. And that turns your fan motor or your whatever your load is. Might be a pump or whatever. The way the motor operates is once the coil is energised, it induces a magnetic field into the stator. That rotating magnetic field then induces a second magnetic field into the little shading poles. The shading poles then react with this magnetic field created by your coil and cause that magnetic field coil to deviate inwards, to bend if you like. That bending effect causes the rotor to start to turn. It tries to chase the magnetic field around the stator. To reverse this motor, at the moment, the state, the shaft will always turn away from the top pole. So at the moment, this motor is going clockwise. If I wish to reverse it, I just pull the bearings apart. In this case, I had some bolts I've pulled out. Pull it apart, turn them stator around, put it back in. Because the, the rotor will always turn away from the top pole, the motor is now turning anti-clockwise. This allows you to carry one motor to cover a couple of different applications, two different uh, directional applications for different types of fan blades and whatever. When reassembling, uh, the back bearing goes on, the screws slide in and you tighten the screws up. Be careful not to over tighten the screws because what it will do is compress the stator or the stack as we call it and it will push the bearing off centre and the shaft will not turn freely. So that's always a check when you've put it back together. Make sure the shaft turns freely. Otherwise the motor will not work or it will run and seize up within about a half an hour. The power or the strength of this motor is determined by the thickness of the stack. So if you're replacing one of these motors, make sure the thickness of this stack is identical or greater than the thickness of the stack that you're replacing. Uh, otherwise, it won't have enough power to turn the load and it will eventually overheat and the bearings will be damaged. So that is all for this session. Thank you.